Hey everyone. If you're watching this video, you've probably just completed the DeForce tutorial, where we simulated a plane using DeForce to act as a piece of fabric. We then draped that fabric over a sphere. If you haven't yet completed this tutorial, you can get started by navigating to the Simulation Settings tab, and then in the bottom left hand corner, you can click the Tips label. From here, you can click this button right here, and you can get started on mastering the basics of DeForce. Once you've done this, and your simulation is complete, you may notice that this corner, the mesh is distorted, as well as the corner diagonal from it, but not these two corners. So today we're going to be taking a look at what's going on here, as well as giving two fixes for this issue. So to start, we'll want to select the plane in the scene pane, and then click on this icon right here, and select Wire Texture Shaded so that we can see the mesh. While this is helpful, we could use a better look at what's going on here. So we're going to go to the Draw Settings. We're going to select General, Wireframe, and this slider right here, Triangulation Wireframe Opacity, we're going to turn up to 100%. So now we can see what's going on with the mesh and we can see that the lines in the distorted corner seem to be going horizontal while the lines in the corners that look fine seem to be going vertical. So now that we have an idea of what's going on here, we're ready to start fixing. Our first fix is to adjust the mesh resolution. To get started on this, we'll want to go up to Edit, Object, Geometry, Convert to Sub-D. Now that we've done this, let's go into Parameters, Plane, General, Mesh Resolution. And there are actually two things that we can mess around with with our mesh resolution. The first being the resolution level. We can change this from high resolution to base, or the other way around. And we can also change the subdivision algorithm from catmark to bilinear, or the other way around. You may notice that this hasn't done much to help with the issue, however, so we're ready for our second fix. Our second fix is to change the poly triangulation. To do this, let's go up to Tools and select Geometry Editor. Once we've selected this, we'll want to click on this icon and dock it to our workspace. Moving forward, it's actually easier to clear our simulation, so we're going to go back into the Simulation Settings tab and click this button right under simulate that says clear. Now we can get a better look at what's going on with the mesh. So in order to change the poly triangulation, we're going to want to change the direction that our mesh is moving in regards to the two corners that are becoming distorted. So to do this, we're going to want to, with the tool settings open, right click on the plane and make sure that our selection type is poly selection and our selection mode is Marquee Selection. Once we've verified this, we want to highlight the bottom right corner. Once we've done this, we'll right click, we'll go down to Geometry Editing, and select Rotate Triangulation of Selected Polygons. This will change the direction that the mesh will simulate, which will allow for a more natural looking um, drape. So then we're going to want to do this with the opposite corner, the left hand corner. Now that we've rotated our mesh, let's see how it simulates. And already we can see that it looks more natural. And I don't see any poke throughs either. So as a final step, we can actually go back to our first fix to uh, adjust the fabric further. So with the plane selected, we'll navigate up to the Parameters tab, and we can change between, with our resolution level, we can change between base and high resolution, as well as our subdivision algorithm from bilinear to catmark. And although I'm not experiencing any poke-throughs, some of you may be, and this just depends on where the geometry is in the scene. 
but if you're experiencing poke throughs, try changing the resolution level. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope this was helpful, and if you run into any more issues, feel free to open a ticket with tech support, and we'll be more than happy to help you there. Thanks guys!